NAL NL2 was released almost 15 years ago. So it's been a long time since we have provided advice and solutions to help audiologists treat their patients. Now, technology has evolved quite a bit since then. Our understanding of the needs of people with hearing loss has improved since then. So the time is right to develop a new solution, NAL, NL3. The most important things that we do is ask the question, is it needed? You know, what's the need we're addressing? And with NAL, NL2, the first thing we asked clinicians around the world is, what's the problem that it's not solving? And that was our, our key approach to how and why we created NAL and L3. So the first week back in the new year, in 2025, I called an all hands meeting. And so in that meeting, I announced that the NL3 team was going from eight people dedicated to its release to 50 people. All of now, from that point forward, we're becoming team members for the development of NL3. But the beauty of NAL is that we can take risks and be bold because we can move so fast. So I think that was a really bold move, not just to try to create something that's slightly better, but actually to say, no, what we need to do is create the best that we possibly can and we should put all of our thinking, our brains, our resources, our experience behind it. We all thought Brent was a little bit nuts when he first announced it, saying that the whole organisation was essentially coming together just to focus on the NAL NL3. But it was actually a really wonderful opportunity because not only did we get to bring everyone together with all their skills, but it meant I got to work with staff that I hadn't worked with before. The first time in my 17 years here at NAL, where we've had everyone be pulled into a single shared focus and a single project. And that was just an amazing experience with amazing energy. We had spent so much time planning the project and we had a deadline and finding that we now had to get 30 plus people onboarded and effectively working in the project. And one of the things that Brent said really stuck with me is this, this is, he said, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to work in something like this, a fitting formula in our field that's used across the world by pretty much every clinician who fit hearing aids. Almost overnight, we adopted a all hands on deck agile approach where everyone was so quick to adopt this way of working with radical transparency and collaboration. It was amazing. A bit like following the yellow brick road and it's not the Elton John one, but the Wizard of Oz one. So it's full of twists, challenges, surprises. And I think, you know, it was us taking on new roles and new research methods and still maintaining that rigour that NAL is really known for. We reached out to large chains of clinics to validate NAL and L3 while it was still under development. And that gave us real-time feedback on how NAL and L3 was accepted by clients in those clinics in the real world. Our role as part of the walk-around team, which was mostly qualitative research, was around collecting that first impression, that real-world experience of using the prescriptions. So it was very uh, enlightening to hear what people had to say. Like that was their preliminary feedback. That was the first thing we found out. This data was coming in real time. So we were able to analyze data every single day to help make decisions about what to do next, and also course correct when it was necessary. The breadth of knowledge and experience across the team uh, makes almost anything possible. So I can rely on an engineer or somebody who's an expert in behavioral science or psychology or psychoacoustics to accomplish uh, almost anything I need. The experience was very new to me, you know, working with so many clinicians at the same time, working on such a high impact project. So they helped me bridge the gap in between how my machine learning solution can impact the lives of millions of people around the world. I think what I really valued was working with other team members that I've not otherwise worked with before. And it was awesome, like it was just a great team experience and we would run down the hallway, having done a walk around appointment, we'd high five each other. One of the things I found really interesting about working on NL3 was that it wasn't just about solving technical problems in isolation, but we also had to work out ways to deliver the solutions to the end users. We had to develop tools and also learn new techniques so that we could get the solution out to the researchers in the booth and also clinicians across Australia. This new way of working that we have accomplished with 
NL3 where everyone is swarming on the project, trying to make it a success, people wearing different hats, is going to roll over into all other projects that we have. And by doing that, we're going to be able to bring more solutions to the world and have a bigger impact on audiologists, on people with hearing health. This is something that probably no other organization in the world can do. Take everyone in the organization and overnight completely change their focus to the top priority, and we did it.